This is Math.17 Experimental Data and Statistics. This is one of the harder topics on the digital SAT, but if you know how to use the tools, then this becomes one of the easiest topics on the test, and I'll show you why. In your algebra or pre-algebra class, you may have learned mean, median, mode, and range. And these are four things that you can find from a group of numbers. And the word mean means Let's take notes here. The mean of a data set. Data set means like a group of numbers. Like here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 10. The mean of a data set is the average of these numbers. Keyword here is the average. And in your math class, you learn how to find the mean. And the way is by the sum of all numbers over the number of numbers, or maybe uh, how many numbers. And the sum of all numbers is you add all the numbers up. So for example, if you have this, then it's adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 10. And over how many numbers? Here there are 10 numbers, so you add up all the numbers, divided by 10 numbers, and you get the mean. But because this is a crash course for digital SAT and you want to know how to use all the tools, I'll show you how to do that with the decimals calculator. Of course, uh, one way is by doing 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 4 and so on, all the way to 10, and then you get a, a sum. Let's say the total number is uh, 10, uh, if the numbers are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then you add everything up and you divide it by, say, like 2, if they're, um, well, in this case, there are 4 numbers, so divide by 4, then the mean or the average would be 2.5. However, uh, let me show you another way because you already know the calculation way. The other way, and this is useful not for the mean but for the things we'll use later on, for the things we'll find later on, is you type D equals square brackets. And the square bracket is the data set or the numbers that you have in a group. So here we'll list out one, two, we'll list out all the numbers. like that. We're using this as an example, by the way. This means I have this group of numbers. And if I want to find the mean, I just type mean parentheses and D, meaning the data set D. And that gets me 5.5. So the mean is 5.5. And you can do this without knowing that mean equals to the formula here. Just know how to input a data set into the calculator and then type in mean parentheses the data set and you get 5.5. This 10 element list by the way tells you how many numbers there are in this set so if you um, ever don't know how to count numbers in the set or if you feel that you might count wrong you might be off by one or two then you can use a calculator to count how many numbers there are in a set. In math, you'll learn the median is the middle number when numbers are in order. And here we have the numbers in order. Uh, here we have the numbers in order, and, but here we don't have the numbers in order. We have larger number, and then smaller number, and then larger number. So number in order means going from the smallest to the biggest, or from the biggest to the smallest. It doesn't matter how you arrange it as long as they're in order. Uh, and in math, there's a way to find the mean. But for the digital SAT, let's just do the easiest way, which is type in median parentheses D, and that gets you the median of this data set. And the median for this set is also 5.5. If you do the math way, then it's looking at the middle number in the group. Here we have 10 numbers, so the middle numbers, plural, are 5 and 6. And then you find the average, the mean of 5 and 6, and that's 5.5. Mode means the number or numbers that appear the most in, in a data set. So here, just by looking, the mode is all of the numbers, because all of the numbers appear equally the most, kind of, because all of them appear once. So this. For this set, it's weird about the mode. Um, but if you have, say, the numbers 1, 2, 
three, three, four, then the mode will be three because you appear the most. On the decimals calculator, you cannot do mode parentheses D. There's no function for mode in decimals. However, there's a workaround for this. And the workaround for this is dot plot. And if we do dot plot D, then we get this. But this looks kind of weird because they're all uh, bunched up together. So this zoom fit button allows you to zoom into a place that is very visible for, for viewing purposes. And by doing this, you can see that there, what this, what dot plot means is it's a series of plots that shows you how many, um, how many values does this value, uh, how many times does this value show up in, in the data set. So what this means is for number one, one showed up once, two showed up one time, three showed up one time, and so on. Here, if I have uh, 10 comma 10, then you'll see that here. 10 comma 10 means 10 will show up one and two times. So this data uh, dot plot shows uh, the number of times a element showed up in a data set. And with, the, with dot plot, you can see that since all numbers appear, uh, all numbers from 1 to 10 appear equally the most in this data set, then the mode here would be uh, basically, if I copy that, would be 1 to 10. Let me change that back. Range in math means the, um, it's really literal, it's the range or um, how far the minimum and maximum numbers span in a data set, in a If the word data set is confusing to you because you feel like this is a math term, then it's in a group of numbers. You can also think of it like that. And if you know the meaning for range of data set, then you can look at this and know that the range or the, the maximum and the minimum numbers go from one to 10. So there are from here to here, there are a total of uh, nine, so the answer would be nine. But if you do it the the decimal, so if you don't know what range is, as long as you know range means um, how far the the maximum and the distance between maximum and minimum, really. Then for on decimals, decimals doesn't have range. You can't do that. But decimals does have maximum. It tells you maximum is 10. And decimals also has minimum. Oh, sorry, not 10. Maximum of D of this data set is 10. And minimum of the data set is 1. So the range is max minus min. That gives you the range, how far the maximum is from the minimum. So to find the range, you can do max d minus min d and that gets you 9 and the answer is 9. You can do this if you don't remember what range is or how to do it by by the, the math way but you remember at least the range means maximum minus minimum. And I'll leave these two questions for you because hopefully this makes doing these questions a lot easier so I'll skip this. Standard deviation on the digital SAT. Standard deviation is, you can think of it as the, shows how spread out a group of numbers are. I think this is what standard deviation means in more of a English common English way. When you have standard deviation that is large, 
So let's say if you have a group of numbers and the standard deviation of those numbers is uh, 20, then that means the numbers are more spread out. And when you have standard deviation that is small, that means the numbers are m less spread out. So that means are closer to each other. And let me give you an example here. If I have this D being 1 to 10 and their mean is 5.5, I can have another uh, element list. And let's say this is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6. Can I do E? I can't do E. I have to be D. I can do D2. I have a D1 and D2. I have a second um, element list. I can also do mean of D2. And mean of D2 is also 5.5, just like mean of D1. And if I do median of D2, it's also 5.5, just like D. However, if I do dot plot of D2, then you can see that these points for the green are bunched up together in the middle here. So with these two points, these two uh, data sets, they have the same mean, same median, uh, different mode because they appear, the, the frequency for these points appear differently. Uh, let me add seven into the list and four into the list. Okay. So with the green points, then the mode would be 5 and 6, because 5 and 6 appear the most in the list. 4, 7, and other ones appear less frequently than 5 and 6. However, between the red points and the green points, the red points would have a larger standard deviation because the points are more spread out across the points. And the points for the green are more uh, bunched up together in the middle. And so the red points have a smaller standard deviation, and the red points have a larger standard deviation. That's really all you need to know. Uh, in your math class in school, you'll learn how to calculate the standard deviation, but you don't need to do that for the digital SAT. Let's take a look here. The table above shows two lists of numbers. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Which of the following is true about these two lists? So this example is very similar to the examples I have here with D and D2. The means are the same and their standard deviation are different. If you look quickly through the choices, you see that this question tests you on whether you know the mean and the standard deviation because that's appearing in all the choices except whether they are the same or, the, or they are different. Mean is finding the average for the number, so you can go ahead, go ahead and calculate the numbers by hand if you want, or you can do it this way. And let's do it the decimals way to show you what we were doing earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, and D2 is the second list. Two, three, three, four, four, five. The mean for list one is, list A is 3.5, the mean for list B, this is my B, D2, is 3.5, so the means are the same. That means they're not different. And their standard deviation means how spread out the points are. And the red points are more spread out across, whereas the green points are more bunched up toward the middle. So the deviation, standard deviation are different. In fact, here you don't even need to know whether um, the standard deviation for list A or B is bigger or uh, smaller, it, it's just asking you if they're different. And so if you know standard deviation means how spread out the points are, then you can tell that green is not spread out equally as the red, so they are different. The maximum value of a data set consisting of 25 positive integers is 84. A new data set containing 26 of the positive integers is created by including 96 in the original data set which of the following measures must be 12 greater than the new data set than for the original data set? Questions like this could be very confusing because it's long and there are a lot of things that are going on. But if you remember what 
I explained in the past in one of the earlier math points, then maybe this won't be too difficult. The first sentence says the maximum value of a data set consisting of 25 positive integers is 84. So that means you have this data set equals and there are 25 positive integers in here and the maximum value of these numbers is 84. But it doesn't tell you what the uh, the maximum, it, it tells you what the maximum is, but it doesn't tell you what the minimum is and it doesn't tell you what these 25 numbers are. And there are no other restrictions to what the numbers can be or have to be in this data set. So if it just says the only requirement is that this data set has 25 numbers and their maximum value is 84. And the last sentence says which of the following measures must be 12th grader. So whatever that means, whatever I, whatever these 25 numbers are, one of this must be 12th grader in the new data set than the original one, regardless of what these uh, the, the actual values are. So since there are no restrictions to them, then maybe it's easiest for me to have a data set of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 elements of 84 in this data set. Then by doing that, I have maximum of this data set being 84. A new data set, and this is the new data set, has 96 in the original data set. So I have everything here plus 96. I'm going to try something here because I haven't tried it and I'm, I'm not sure if I can do that. But um, 96. Uh, no, I can't. It has to be actual number. So that means I have everything here. I can just copy and paste. It's not too much work. Copy and paste, comma, 96. which of the following must be 12 greater than the original. And I can look at what I have here. The mean here is 84, the mean here is 84.4. So this, the new set is not 12 greater than the old one, so that's wrong. The median, the middle number, is also not 12 greater than the old one, so that's wrong. The range, remember range is from the smallest to the largest in the, in the set of numbers. And the range here, max d2 minus min d2 is 12, whereas here the max minus min is 0. So the range here is 12 greater than the, 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 the other one. And the standard deviation is something that you, um, it shows you how spread out the numbers are. Um, and But in digital SAT, you don't need to calculate the standard deviation. So if it asks you what is the value for standard deviation, then it's not something you need to uh, calculate for the exact number. So standard deviation is wrong. And you can do this if you don't know the math. If you know the math, then you might find this way to be very slow because you have to type out the data set for 25 numbers and you have to find the mean and the median. That can take a while. If you know the math way, then the range means the from the the range from the smallest to the largest number in a set. And here, if I'm adding the number 96 into the list, where originally the largest number is 84, that means in my new set, this is my old set. In my new set, I'm going to have whatever the smallest number is to the largest number in the set, which is 84. And then I'm going to add the number 96 to this list. So this is 96 and this is, let's say this is uh, 84. And there may be other, other points here in the middle, we don't know, as long as the maximum number in this set is 84. Now we're adding 96 to this list. That means the largest number in this set increased by 12 here. 
So of course, because I'm increasing the maximum number by 12, the range for the set will be increased by 12 because I'm increasing this distance from the smallest, whatever that is, to the largest. However, if you don't know, don't know the math, then know that there's this fallback method with decimals. If the mean of the five numbers above is uh, 1600, what is the value of x? For this, you will probably need to know the formula for finding the mean. 700 plus 100, uh, 1200 plus 1600 plus 2000 plus x is equal, uh, the, the mean for this is equal to uh, 1600. So you would have this over 5 equal to 1600. Mathematically, this is what you're looking for. Let me remove the other ones. So here, you see that this equation gives us this value here, and so the answer is 2500 for this value of x. And for this one, you have to know that mean means the sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers. There are five numbers in total, and the sum of the numbers, adding the numbers up, is that, and you get 1600. A data set with 15, what, 51 values has the least value of 20 and the greatest value of 40. So that means you have numbers, a few numbers here in the middle. They all, there are in total 51 numbers. And the smallest number here is 20. In the middle, you don't know what those are. And the largest number is 40. Now this set is to be updated with a 25th value, that should be th, 25th value of 100. So we're adding a new value to this set, and that is 100, which of the following will not necessarily increase. The mean is the average of the numbers. So if I'm adding this number into the list, then the average of all the numbers will change. So mean will definitely change. Standard deviation is about how spread out the numbers are. Originally, it's this spread out, and now it's this spread out. So of course, the standard deviation will be different. The range is how far the smallest number is from the largest number. And now the number, the range for the numbers are wider. So it's not the range. So it's the median. The median is the middle number. And before I could have, if the numbers here in the middle are all, let's say, 40, then originally the middle number will be 40. Even adding 100 to the list, the middle number is still going to be 40. So the median may not change, but these three values will. We'll do one question on dot plot, and uh, we'll have you do the rest. Each dot plot above shows the length in centimeters of 50 sepals from a particular species of iris flower. Which of the following is true about the data represented? So there are these data and these points are here. So by looking at them, you can see that the points here are more spread out and the points here are more close to, close to each other. They're, they're more uh, the the frequency of the points here are more are higher because they appear more frequently and the points here are appear appear less frequently the question choices ask about the standard deviation the standard deviation so if the points here are more spread out then that means the standard deviation for this would be larger than the ones here so the standard deviation of iris versicular, that's this one, is greater than that of the iris setosa sepal length. And that is the correct one because 
this one is more sped up. Whether the standard deviation is like 2 or 3.3, it doesn't matter because you just need to tell whether it's more spread out, higher standard deviation, or less spread out, more bunched up together. That's lower in standard deviation. Let's move on to the next section. Box plot, also called box and whisker diagram. You'll see this sometimes, but very infrequently on the digital SAT. But since you may see it, then we'll quickly go over them. It just looks weird, but conceptually, it shouldn't be too confusing. Uh, you may see this to represent data. And what this means is the number, the extremes here are the maximum and the minimum. So here we have this uh, value here being the largest in this range. So this is the maximum. The number at the bottom here is the minimum. And so this here is the box and this is like the, the whisker. Within the box, the higher number here is called in math the upper quartile or it can also be called the 75th percentile it can also be called q3 and among these you'll probably need to know 75th percentile more than the other ones the number in the middle here with the middle line that is the median or 50th percentile or Q2 in real life. In real life, you will hear the word Q1, Q2, Q3 pretty often. The numbers here are the lower quartile or 25th percentile or Q1. That's just terminology. The box plots above summarize the distribution of the number of fish caught each day on two commercial fishing boats for a season. So boat one caught this many number of fish each day, and box uh, boat B caught this many number of fish uh, for a season. And here we're looking for by how many fish does the median number of fish caught each day on boat B, the median for boat B, exceed. This value is more than the median number of boat A here by how much. As long as you know what median, where median is in this box and whisker graph, then this question should be pretty straightforward. It's asking for how much more is this than this. So looking at the graph, this is 30, this is 40. That means this value here is 35. So from 35 to 40, there is a difference of five. So the answer for this one is five. Should be the same idea as long as you remember what the label, what how to label this graph, then you should be able to solve this one. So I'll leave uh, these questions to you and we'll move on. Margin of error in simple English means the uh, you can think of it as the uncertainty of certain statistics or uh, margin of error can also be how how far off can your value be I think this would be more like the, the English way of understanding what margin of error means. And the range for the margin of error is you take the value plus or minus the margin of error. So let's look at this example here. A research on a random batch of freshman students found that the average GPA of freshman students is 2.6 with a margin of error of 0 0.2. That means, based on the research, the average GP of the students is 2.6. But this value from the, from the research could be off by 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is the margin of error, so this value could be off by 
zero point two. That means this value could be the the actual value could be zero point two more, or it could be zero point two less. So the more is adding value plus the margin of error, 2.6 plus 0 0.2, and that's 2.8. That means the actual uh, average GPA can be 2.8, or we could be off by two, 0 0.2, um, this number being higher. So the lower one could be 2.6 mi minus 0 0.2, and that's 2.4. this is here I have plus 0 0.2 and here I have minus 0 0.2 what is the range of the result of the research the range can be from 2.4 to 2.8 that's the the range um, let's see I'll leave those questions to you they shouldn't be too difficult and there are more practice questions here. Go ahead and do the classwork and the homework. And let's take a break. I'll see you in the next unit.